Hi and welcome to SCW, the wrestling channel here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section. Please like and share the video as well. Talking Impact Wrestling, Bound for Glory. It's the predictions. The show is this evening. Um, I waited as long as I could to see if we could find out the fifth participant in the intergender ladder match for the X Division Championship. Uh, and it looks like we finally have that name going into the show according to Wikipedia. Uh, but I'm going to go through the entire Card and I will start with that X Division Championship match, which of course is a five person ladder match. We've got Jake Christ, uh, the Golden Draw, the champion, going to be defending against Tessa Blanchard, Daga, Ace Austin, and what believed to be Ace Romero. Um, of course, the last episode of Impact Wrestling had still that position as vacant uh, after the Sabu and uh, Rohit Raju draw uh, double count out, so neither of them qualified for the for the uh, actual ladder match. Um, it'd be interesting to see how this is going to go. I think it's going to be a great match on the show. Uh, ladder matches always go down pretty well. Uh, five superstars in this match as well, and I think that uh, everyone has got something to give in this match. And there's a lot of potentials of where we could get some victors. Um, I think up to three people could win in this match, but I'm going to put my prediction on the Tessa Blanchard to win. Um, the reason for it is because it is of the believe that Tessa Blanchard was going to go into the male division. A lot of people believed for a long time that she would become the world champion um, but it feels like that this is probably a more realistic path to go for at this particular stage of the game. The X Division Championship would be kind of cool. It's intergender as well for a reason. Um, it seems that they're going to do a lot more of this going forward. I think that for that reason Tessa Blanchard will walk out victorious but I do think that there is a shout that Jake Chris could retain and I think Ace Austin is the uh, for me backup prediction here because um, him and Eddie Edwards, it's not finished that that uh, rivalry by any stretch of the imagination. And um, yeah, it would be interesting to see if that, um, I believe it was Alyssa Edwards, if she would actually come uh, to, to ringside to celebrate with Ace Austin should he win the championship. But we'll have to wait and see on that. But for me, Tessa Blanchard is going to be my victim. I think that she would be a good uh, exhibition champion and uh, it would help continue that feud with OVE going forward. Next, we will look at a six-man tag team match. We've got the Rascals um, of Desmond Xavier, Trey, and, of course, Wentz. They're going to be taking on Dr. Wagner, Aerostar, and Taurus, or Taurus. I'm not sure how that one's quite pronounced there, but uh, all from the Triple Eight promotion. Um, originally, these were going to be two mystery uh, partners for Dr. Wagner as well, which made me believe for a long time that Dr. Wagner uh, was going to get the win here. But uh, for me, I'm going to stick my money now on the Rascals. Now that we know that the three guys... Um, that they will be taking on. I just have this belief that this will be a very good high-flying match. Could even be the opener of the show. Um, the Rascals, for me, are in need of a victory. And I think that this would be a good position to give that to them. Because they will be taking on guys that are not in Impact Wrestling as well. Um, which, of course, wouldn't harm them so much either if they were to lose this match. But I think, for me, uh, the Rascals need a big victory. And I think this would be uh, the perfect opportunity to give them that win on such a big stage. For me, I'm going to go for the Rascals. Next, going to look at Michael Elgin, Unbreakable, going to take on a Marafuji, which of course is uh, meant to be a dream match, one that uh, Elgin did not get while he was uh, working in Japan, uh, but of course now he gets the opportunity to have this match here in Impact Wrestling. Uh, Marafuji, no stranger to working with Impact, has done a number of dates previously, but for me, Michael Elgin here is going to go over. It's another one of those things where taking on uh, a superstar from a different roster, uh, I, I just have this feeling that Michael Elgin will be the guy going over. They're building him up really well and um, he's had a real strong showing since turning up in Impact Wrestling so I expect that continue uh, with this Sunday at Bound for Glory. Next I will look at the Tag Team Championship match which is a triple threat as well. Three teams involved here. We've got the North, Ethan Page and Josh Alexander. Big fan of the North. Can be taken on Rich Swan and Willie Mack and as well as that also going to be taken on Rhino and Rob Van Dam. Um, I think this has got potential to be a show stealer. I'm really looking forward to this triple threat tag team match and I honestly... I'm not quite fully sure which way this is going to go because I do feel that that um, this would be a, a, a possibly a strong candidate to have a title change on the show. Um, but Rich Swan, of course, picked up a victory on the last 
episode of Impact uh, in the Triple Threat match against Josh Alexander and Rhino. So my feeling is that um, I would rule out Rich Swan and Willie Mack because I'm always one for 50-50 booking. Uh, if you win on the show before going into the pay-per-view, I tend to look up then that someone else is going to pick up the victory instead. Could we see Rhino and Rob Van Dam pick up the Tag Team Championships? It is a strong possibility, but I'm going to go here. Rather than with my head, I'm going to go with the heart here because actually I'm a really big fan of the North. I think that Ethan Page has really shown a lot of personality. I think Josh Alexander plays his role very well and they are a great tag team. They're very innovative with their, their double team offences and uh, I think they've got a lot to offer this tag team division and uh, they're not a thrown together team either which arguably you could say that the other two teams are in this sort of circumstances so I'm going to go for the North to retain I, I think that um, it could be you know a, a very lucky victory but I, I think the North will walk away still your Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions Next, we will look at Ken Shamrock versus Moose, a match I'm very much looking forward to. I think the build-up has been quite strong for this match, to be honest, as well. Um, I'm mainly looking forward to seeing how Ken Shamrock is going to look in the ring now. Of course, he is, uh, you know, he's not like he was back in the Attitude Era. Of course, it's 20 years on now. Um, so I'm hoping he's still got it. Uh, Moose seems to be going against some of the legends this year. Of course, at Slammiversary, he took on Rob Van Dam, uh, and he did actually get the victory over Rob Van Dam and, and gave him his first loss since coming back to Impact. I have the feeling that they're going to keep Moose strong here. Moose is going to walk away the victor, but I do think it's going to be a close call, and I actually have a feeling that this match is going to be quite decent. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I mean, from what I have seen of Shamrock, when he put the ankle lock on, uh, that looked pretty decent, so... I'm hoping he's still got it. Let's, let's see. I'm looking forward to this match. should be really good. And uh, like I said, the build-up for me, I've liked it. I've enjoyed it. It's been strong. Um, so, yeah, I, I've got a lot of positivity coming into this match. And uh, even if the match doesn't deliver, they've done their job. They've got me to the point where I want to see what happens. So, uh, props to these guys. Um, I will go for Moose, though, to pick up the victory. Next, I'll look at the Call Your Shot gauntlet match. That's right, 20 superstars in a Royal Rumble kind of match. The winner can choose any championship match of their choice. Now, of course, um, we know the number one and we know the number 20. Number one is Eddie Edwards. And we've got the number 20, which is Muhammad Shearer. Uh, Shearer will be a big favorite going into this match. Um, I look at sort of the heavy hitters. I mean, Eddie Edwards, I can see being cost his spot at some stage maybe by Ace Austin like I said that that feud isn't finished I just feel Ace Austin obviously won't be in the match but maybe could be some outside interference we'll have to wait and see um, of course some of the women might get involved Jordan Grace could be involved Havoc so yeah it'll be interesting to see uh, which way they go because the winner can choose any championship match of their choice it can be a, a knockouts championship we could have the X division you know, it could be anything, a world championship or even a tag team championship. But um, looking at it to make a prediction, I mean, I would love to see a surprise element come in. Someone that we don't expect because that's what makes these matches kind of more fun as well. Especially if it's a big return or something like that would be uh, an exciting thing to see. A, a big superstar come in, win this match and go for the world championship or even the X Division Championship would be, would be nice to see. But uh, I'm going to go and say Madman Fulton to be my victor here because um, he wasn't involved, I don't believe, in the uh, Battle Royal that determined who was going to be number 20. And I think Madman Fulton is the kind of guy um, for OVE who would go in, win the match, and, for example, someone like Jake Christ who has lost his, his championship earlier in the evening, or maybe Sammy Callahan if he's not successful might be able to score another title match thanks to Madman Fulton, who would perhaps uh, give up his opportunity for one of these guys. So that's going to be my prediction for this. That's where I think the smart money goes. Madman Fulton will win the Gauntlet match for me. Next, I'll look at the Knockouts Championship for Impact Wrestling. We've got Ty Valkyrie, the longest reigning Knockouts Champion, uh, going to be taking on Tennille Dashwood. Well, this is like your WrestleMania. It's the biggest event of the year. Um, Ty has had the belt for a goodness knows how long. I think it's January she's held the belt since. So it's a good nine months. The longest uh, champion. It's time for a change. Uh, for me, it's Neil Dashwood, kind of fresh in, perhaps a bit too soon, but she's never held, I think, a, a main championship. She was never in WWE X, uh, NXT, never a Raw SmackDown Women's Champion, and uh, I obviously with, with Ring of Honor, she never won that championship either. So I think that uh, she is going to be given a home here, a championship, 
And she's going to be made to feel like she is a big deal, I think, in Impact. I think that they're going to look after her and take care of her here. So I think Tennille Dashwood is going to get her her night here. I think this is going to be the big one for her and that she will become the new Knockouts champion. And it will be interesting to see then where they go forward from this because Ty has had a great run at the top. Um, but I just think it's time for her to let someone else have a run, maybe just regroup and, and come back in and then maybe become a Knockouts champion at a future date. But if she was to win this match, I really start to wonder who would take the belt off of her because she has not, she's beaten everybody. Uh, you just sort of think, who and where does she go next? So for me, I think a change is necessary. So let's go for Tennille Dashwood to win the Knockouts Championship. Last but certainly not least, uh, we've got the Impact World Championship. Brian Cage, the champion against Sammy Callahan. This has been very well put together. I must admit, props to Impact Wrestling. Um, they've made this a blood feud without getting Brian Cage involved too much. Now, um, I kind of have a split feeling when it comes to this match and I think fans are going to as well um this isn't as straightforward as as uh, as booking suggests of good versus bad face versus heel I think the fans are going to be split for this I think people want to see Sammy Callan become the world champion um I think people some people would like to stick with the the storyline beliefs and see Brian Cage retain um, but Brian Cage hasn't really done much as world champion. I know he's been injured or he's been hurt for, for a number of his reign. Does that mean he will vacate the championship in this match and we have a new champion going forward? Or is it too soon for him to drop the belt? He's fine now and he'll be back doing what he does normally after Bound for Glory. It's so interesting to see. It's It could go either way. Um, I really loved how they've used Melissa Santos in this in this uh, feud as well from to really give Sammy Callahan some heat. Uh, it's a much needed heat going into this. It's a world championship match. It, it's really had where it's become a blood feud. And um, yeah, I mean, for me, I believe that Brian Cage will get his revenge here. I, I just feel that uh, Impact don't necessarily change that world championship these days that often, that quickly. Um, and although Sammy Callahan for me deserves to be a world champion in Impact, I think that he would be fantastic in the role. And particularly if Tessa didn't win the X Division Championship, she said she's coming for Sammy next. That would be a way to put that feud going forward, perhaps into the January pay per view. But uh, I always thought that if Tessa was going to win the world championship, it should be a bound for glory. She's in the X Division. So um, for me, I just kind of feel, Sammy, you've done well. You really put yourself as, as a main event player in impact through this feud. But I, I just have the feeling that Brian Cage is going to retain. So I'm going to stick with that. Brian Cage will be my prediction for this event. Uh, but let me know your predictions in the comments below. Um, that's all eight matches there given for you for Bound for Glory. Uh, like I said, I would love to know your predictions in the comments section. Please like and share the video as well. Look out for Ask SCW. will be coming for you uh, perhaps today or tomorrow. Definitely be dropped. Uh, certainly will be recorded today anyway. So thank you for everyone who's put their questions in. Um, I'll see you next time here on SCW. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, have a good day. Please like, share and subscribe.